Hey guys, it's Cole here. Welcome back. In today's video, we're looking back at my favorite models that I built in the last year, considering now, as you're watching, my channel has been around for over one year. So in today's video, we're going to look back at all the models I built in the last year. I just kind of, not all the models I built, all the ones that I built that I featured in videos. So there's some models I built that I haven't made videos about, and so we're not going to talk about those ones, those ones, the videos of those models will come out in the future. But for now, we're going to look at all the models that were in videos in the last year. Also, we've hit a thousand subscribers recently, so thank you guys so much for all that. Um, I didn't really think I'd get that many people watching my stuff just me talking about little plastic cars, but um, it's quite exciting, so thank you guys so much for that. But I'll have a thousand subscriber special video with a tutorial coming up next week or two on, on it for a very requested car, so uh, yeah, that'll be coming up soon. One more thing before we get started. Um, um, I've started a second channel, it was Brickworks Garage. Now, but this is basically where I'm going to make um, videos only about the garage, and we're going to talk about more more or less serious stuff, I'm not sure, but it's basically, I've started a second channel only focused on the garage and the cars. Um, well, this channel will still be talking about cars and all that kind of stuff, but um, there'll be more, more videos there, so there's a link down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. So, starting out, the first mock and the first video on the channel was the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Uh, eight-step white conversion of the Lego set, and that video got a lot more popular than I ever thought it would, considering it was my first video and wasn't really all that great. Um, that video was just filmed with my iPhone, it was really nothing too crazy. That first model, the Dodge Challenger, is based off the Lego set. I was really happy with the Lego set, so I thought that the model technically isn't really my design, it's more just a modification of the Lego design, but I still am really happy with that model. It's right here on my desk still, obviously the color's been changed since then, but um, I just still really like this design. It's super clean, it's simple, but um, there are a few details missing from the real car, but it looks it's immediately recognizable as the Challenger, and it, um, it just it's super sleek and simple looking, which is often something I've gone forward with some of my recent designs to try and make it look as make the build as simple as possible while still making it recognizable. I found it's a good way to make clean and just kind of um, very consistent looking cars. So the next block I built, which really enough the video I shared April second, the day after I made the first video, uh, back then I guess I didn't really have a schedule like I do now for posting videos. But the second mock was the Mercedes 6x6. Now back then, I was especially into this crazy Mercedes truck, and I still very much like it today. Um, basically, Mercedes took the G-Wagon, they extended the wheelbase, gave it six wheels, four little axles, they lifted it crazy high into the air, and um, I think they made, only made 100 of them, they go for like a million dollars a piece today. Crazy truck, um, and basically I built this Lego version of it. Now the reason I built the Lego version, is because, or the reason I built the Mercedes 6x6 and not the Hennessy 6x6, the Velociraptor, which I liked better at the time, and I still like better now because it looks more aggressive. I just like the Raptor looks. Um, back then I planned on building the Velociraptor first, but I figured it looked, to me, it looked too difficult to build, so I just built the Mercedes first, which is kind of funny. But um, I have built the Velociraptor now, which um, the second, a new version will be coming in the future in a different video. But I just realized I forgot this one the Mercedes 6x6 crawler, which basically um, was the third video on the channel after the Mercedes 6x6. I took the same 6x6 model and I basically added a power function to drivetrain and working suspension. I didn't have any steering, so it only went in a straight line, but basically it could go over terrain. The video I made in my backyard, it's probably the most fun I've ever, I've ever had making a video. Um, basically, it had six wheel drive, 6x6 drive, I guess, and um, it was just a really fun model. It had, just watching it go around. Um, it only went, stuck, around for a little, stuck around for a little while before I Changed it back to standard, like, uh, static specification that uh, didn't go anywhere, but it was a very fun model when it was around. The next video I had was on a model I had called the Combat Truck. In fact, it's still on the shelf back here. Basically, uh, I was building more military models before. In fact, I built, when I say more, I mean three military models. There were three trucks back there, all, like, inspired by, like, space military. I don't know. It's called space, I call it space military, but really it's not, a, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with space. They're all, like, trucks or, I, um, land vehicles, there's no spaceships involved yet, but hopefully we can build a spaceship to go with them someday. Um, but I had this truck called the Combat Truck, it was inspired by the Halo Warthog, and um, it's a cool little truck. It's still, I think it's a really good design, even for today, when I've gotten a lot more advanced than I was back then. Um, I'm still really happy with that design. Then I, had this, then I posted a video on the second uh, vehicle in the Combat Vehicle series, as I call it, Space, uh, space Vehicle, I don't know, Space Military, I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, it was this thing called the Ultralight Tactical Vehicle, and it basically was a little tiny, like, four-seater, side-by-side, quad-bike thing. It's like one of those Polaris buggies or um, Can-Am buggies that you see driving around in TV ads or whatever. Um, but basically, it was a military version. There are military versions in real life, and it has, like, some armor on the sides and stuff. And that was an old video, but I've updated the model since then, so I'll make a better video about it sometime. 
The next video was on the third vehicle in the combat truck series, which is the biggest one. It was going to call it the combat cargo truck, and basically, it's a sort of it's based on this Osh, basic big Oshkosh truck that they call the uh, HEMTT, and basically, it's just like a big cargo hauler. Now, it's funny is that um, the design is very heavily armored from all sides, basically, except the top. The top is open, which is kind of um, it's very counterintuitive to have a fully armored truck, except that there's no no like roof for a cargo bed, so that vehicle is going to need to update in the future. But otherwise, I'm quite happy to have that model, and similarly with the co um, combat truck, I'm um, really happy with how it turned out for that long ago when I didn't really have a lot of experience. The next video, and the next mock in that video, was the version 2 of the Mercedes, Mercedes 6x6, which was a lot more um, realistic compared to the previous one. The previous one had like my own modifications on there, I threw on a snorkel and some more lights and a um, a spare tire rack in the back on the first version. The second version had uh, some of that stuff removed. It had just better detailing in some places, and it wasn't too much different. Then I made a video featuring this thing called the car lift, which is still built into the garage right here today. Basically, it's a pneumatic car lift with a compressed Lego um, pneumatic compressor, and it just lifts up this little platform so you can store a car underneath it. Now, then I made this thing called the C25R, and I forgot to mention there's an earlier video and there's a later video. The later video features the updated version. It's basically my own made-up supercar um, built out of spare parts that were lying around. And it wasn't really anything too crazy. It was a very simple design, although I was quite happy with it. Um, had a, I was really happy with how I was able to make it open in the, uh, the front trunk open, the doors open, and the engine cover opened. Although you had to like build, it, you had to take it apart and then put the hinges on and then open them up. So it wasn't like it really opened up, but it was kind of, it opened up in a sense. Then I made a, then I made a GT3 version of the same car, basically a race car version of the C25R, and that had like a wing and some different bits and pieces like that. Then I had a modification of the Nissan GTR. Now, I made two modifications of the GTR that I featured on the channel of the LEGO GTR set. The first one was this um, all black and yellow one, which is not my favorite color scheme ever, at least now it isn't. Back then I liked it, but not so much anymore. The second one was this Formula Drift version, which is basically, um, I built it all white, yellow accents, and before, when it was all white, yellow accents, it looked quite nice, it looked just like this. And I really liked how that looked, and then I decided well, I'd try to make it a Formula Drift car, so I gave it really extreme camber in the front, I just stuck all the stickers from three sticker sheets, or not all the stickers, some of the stickers and three sticker sheets from the Ford Fiesta set, the Ford Fiesta Speed Champions Rally Car set, on there, and it looked pretty cool. Although I must say, it was kind of a pain to remove, which I recently, I removed it, and this is what it looked like once I got all like the sticky stuff cleaned off. And I didn't make a video about it, but a video on that version will be coming soon, because I really like that version. Then I had a video on the mock called the Trophy Truck, and the Trophy Truck was, um, it seems, I don't know why it seems everybody likes that mock. The, I mean, I like it. It's a good design, in my opinion. Well, maybe that's kind of biased, but um, it seems that whenever I post a picture of Instagram of that truck or make that one video I made, it did extremely well for my videos. It just seems people really like that truck. I think it is a really nice looking design. It looks very aggressive. Where I have those lights in the front bumper, I got light bars everywhere. You got the spare tires, the American flag, and the um, coming out of the bed. It doesn't really have a bed. It's more just like this open area. The stores the spare tires. It's got the working suspension. Um, I was really happy with how that truck came out. And it was basically another model that does have spare parts. Um, from the Mini, Mini Cooper JCW bug set, whatever that was. Um, but yeah, that was a really cool model. Then I made a video that was basically a tour of this room, or this half of this room, with all the Lego stuff around it. And I just filmed it with my GoPro, so that's why the audio in that video is not very good at all. But that was a fun video to make. Then I posted a video, and this was like my first sort of serious mock that wasn't based off of a Lego set, and was based on a real car. Now, the previous one, that was based on a real car was the Mercedes 6x6, but this was my first kind of supercar one, which was the Lamborghini Gallardo, my own design, and um, based on a real car. And this is kind of where I started the Lamborghini trend, which we've done recently. There'll be more Lamborghinis coming soon, actually, I should mention. But, um, yeah, the Gallardo, it, the front didn't look great. I was really happy how the rear end came out. I still am really happy, which is why I have a version 2 of the Gallardo now, which we'll talk about in a minute. Then I made a video talking about the old headquarters, which is, I call it the headquarters and not the garage, because a combination of garage and military base and all kinds of stuff mixed in there and that was a kind of it looked messy because I was trying to make it kind of like this Ninjago City sort of feeling where you had all kinds of stuff going on but in the end I just tore it down and it built a garage like you see like we have today then the next video was on a very simple mock called the LMP car which in fact only I just took it apart a couple days ago so it's, it's been sitting on the shelf for a very long time or it was sitting on the shelf for a very long time um, basically, I just watched 24 Hours of Le Mans last year and I thought I'll, I'll try and build one of these um, P1, not P1, LMP1 cars and just, uh, it was a simple one, it was like a one, I built it in one night or something, and it wasn't very complicated, it was, it was, it was okay looking, it, didn't, it wasn't supposed to be realistic necessarily, so I exaggerated a lot, I put really big exhaust pipes and a big fin, it was overly long, but it was a cool model. Then I made a video on the Ford Raptor, and this is my ver version 1 Ford Raptor, which had an extremely flat front. Now I have updated it since then, like you can see in this picture, although that video will be coming out in the future. The old version, um, 
was an okay looking truck. It still was kind of, the proportions were a little bit funny, so I have to fix those. Or oh, those are, I haven't fixed the new version, but um, I was quite proud of that truck. Now, the funny thing about how that truck came out is that before I even built the Challenger, before I made the video for the Challenger at least, so this is in February of that last year, um, I had come up with the design for the Raptor, like at least the front end, the front grille. Now this was, keep in mind, I was not, didn't have a lot of experience back then, so by the time I finally got around to finishing the rest of the Raptor, which was like six months later, I just built the rest of it, and then so we had this kind of old front end design with the rest, a new rear end design, so that's why since now that I have updated it, it looks a lot better. The next mock was the Hennessy Velociraptor 6x6. Like I said, I built the Mercedes one first, and then the Hennessy one, or the Hennessy Velociraptor. And this obviously it's a Ford Raptor 6x6. Um, this had the same problem as the um, 4x4 Raptor, which is basically that the front end was too flat, which I have up fixed now. Next video is on the Dodge Challenger Hellcat mock, which is obviously based off of the Demon. Um, I just changed out the intakes in the hood and built an orange, updated the interior, and that model was another one of my favorites obviously because it's a very like i explained it's based off the lego set it's a very simple design it looks very realistic and yeah that orange color looked amazing on it then i made a video talking about the entire range of 2020 speed champions and which ones you should buy for christmas the thing is i called it like i think i called the video what is the best 2020 speed champion set or something like that uh, but if i called it gift guide i think it would have been more popular because that video never really did that well. Then I posted the Lamborghini Murcielago, which was the Murcielago Roadster, first gen Murcielago Roadster, which I guess to be specific. Um, that was another one of my very favorite mocks, or still is another one, still is one of my very favorite mocks, still up on the shelf there. Um, and there was another one where my building experience kind of like got a, a level up, I guess. Um, because first it was with the Gallardo, got a little bit higher, and the Murcielago really kind of came to another level, but the, um, at least slightly advanced. It, wasn't, it still wasn't very advanced, but it was a little bit more advanced then. Then I had something called the Drift Truck, and this build was kind of like a what the heck sort of build, like I'll just, what the heck, I'll just throw everything on here, see what happens with the idea of what if you take a dually um, pickup truck and then slam it to the ground, give it wide body fenders, and um, take it to a racetrack, roll cage, not roll cage actually, but bucket seats and all that kind of stuff, and um, that was a fun project to build. It was a really kind of weird looking truck. It still is on the shelf, although I haven't looked at it recently. It hasn't been in the garage because it's, it's kind of a weird truck. Then we had the Murcielago SV, based on the, the previous Murcielago, obviously. Um, basically, it had the wing, it had the, the re SV rear end. Um, I built it in red. I think I would have built it in yellow or orange, but I decided to go with red. Basically, so I gave the license plate Red Bull, which um, I thought was kind of a funny idea. I still think it's actually quite a nice idea, or a funny idea at least. But that was another model I was really happy with how it turned out, although it may receive an update in the future because those headlights do stick out a little bit. Then I made a video that was sort of a, a build video, a video of me building this upgraded Lamborghini Urus. Basically, I took the Lamborghini Urus set, I lifted it, I gave it really big flared fenders and wide body tires, I mean, wide body fenders and big tires, and then I, um, it was a two-part video. The first part, I made the fenders and lifted it. The second part, I finished it up. Um, it's a really cool looking model. I think it looks kind of concept car-ish almost, and um, I was really happy how that one came out. Then I made this small utility truck, which is a B model of the race buggy transporter set. It's not very exciting at all. I'm not gonna even bother talking much about it. Then we had the Mercy Lago Liberty Walk, which is, I think, my favorite out of all three Mercy Lagos. Basically, it's the Liberty Walk Type 2, so it's not the wide body kit, but it's got the rear end, the diffuser um, body kit. It's got a front end. Well, the front end's basically the same as the SV. Um, it's got, it looks like the body kit. And then it's got this massive wing on there. And right now it's in Roadster form. Uh, looks like this. Like this. Which I um, like better than the standard one because I like the Mercy Roadsters. Um, but basically, it's um, not, very, not that different from the other two Mercy Lagos, but it, it, I really like that lime green color. Then we had version 2 of the Gallardo, which is a much upgraded, um, much better looking front end version um, of the standard or previous one. And it's basically the same otherwise. Then we had this little six wide, six dead wide supercar, which I was something different, but I thought it was quite cool. It was an alternate build, or not alternate build, but a modification of the city sports car set. It was quite simple, but I was quite fun to build that one. Then we had this weird looking thing, which is called the Twin Turbo Drift Car. And this video actually came out like a four months after I built the model. I did record, I literally had the model. It's, I still have the model. It's right up there. You guys might be able to see it. Basically, it's um like a, a barn, some a, a old beater car from the junkyard or whatever that somebody found. They gave it, it just turned into a drift car without bothering to fix the paint or anything. So it's got this really beat up look to it, this crazy turbo setup. I really liked how the car looked. Like it had this kind of just, um, like the builder of the car, say the minifigure who owned the car had this idea. Of, I don't care how the car looks, but I just wanted to build a car that goes fast and is um, fun to drive. Then we had part two of the Urus video, which was kind of self-explanatory. And then we had the Veyron. Now the Veyron was kind of interesting because I intended to build the Stradman Veyron, which um, obviously I did build. Now I decided, while I was building, I decided, oh, I might as well order a, like a normal color Veyron, the dark blue and black one. 
and that one will be like the kind of, I'll just have a second one so I can show everybody how it looks. Because eventually I realized that the Stratman one was gonna look a little bit compromised over a standard version because I, there were so many parts that don't, didn't exist in purple that I um, needed. So I had to like compromise on a whole bunch of parts that didn't look, end up looking as good as the standard color version. So I, that's why I ended up getting two of the um, Veyrons. But I originally intended just to build a Stratman version. But anyway, I was still quite happy with how the Veyron came out. I still, it was one of my very favorite models. So we had the McLaren Sabre. And building the Sabre was interesting, and I explained this in the video, that basically I, um, it was kind of weird to build a car that nobody knew anything about, because only just like a few rich people, or whatever, 15 rich people own these Sabres. And so nobody, at least no, so far, no magazines or YouTube videos have like reviewed them or driven them. I mean, there's a few YouTube videos out there of people driving them. But otherwise, um, we don't have any great idea of how it drives, although it's probably drives pretty well, obviously. So it's kind of funny building a car that's not really that well known. But basically, it's also one of my fast, fastest built cars. But basically, I just sat down at my computer at the studio and built digitally for like uh, an hour a day for three days in a row. And came up with this thing, which was way faster than I'd built any car before. Typically, it takes like three weeks to build a car, so Saber was an especially fast build. And it's another box that has the same thing like the Challenger. I think it's a fairly simple design, but it's still very recognizable and real realistic looking. Then we had the Acura NSX. Now, I built it in this medium Azure co color because I had well, the Jaguar set on hand and I just decided to build, um, use those parts to build it. And I'm still quite happy with the medium Azure. It's one of my favorite LEGO colors. I hope LEGO releases more um, colors, like crazy colors like this in the future Speed Champion sets because it's fun to build with these crazy colors. Uh, the front end design, I was especially happy how the front came out. I think it's one of the best front end designs I've put in the car yet. Typically, um, the rear end designs on my car seem to be more realistic than the front end designs, I'm not sure why. But the NSX came out really nicely both in the front and back, and um, I just thought it looked really good. So that is my uh, overview of all the mocks and videos of the past year. There's a bunch of cool stuff coming up, so if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to uh, stay tuned, because we got a whole bunch of really cool, crazy stuff coming real soon. So that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.